Hey guys, welcome back. It's Tashana, aka The Healthy Hustler. And today we're going to be cooking our sea vegetable cakes. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Those are our vegan crab cakes. They are so delicious and I'm so excited about this recipe. I remember when I first created it, I was like, okay, this is so bomb. I have to share it. So stay tuned. I'm going to walk you through the steps so we can be eating in no time. All right, so we're at the counter and we're gonna go ahead and start mixing our ingredients into the food processor. So this is a really, you know, it's an easy recipe. It's not a lot of steps like most of the recipes. I like to keep it um, cool on that. So what we have right here are oyster mushrooms. Now these are just the smaller pieces. I usually buy them in a case and then I'll separate all the really big pieces and I'll use them for like my um, chicken fried mushroom recipes or like the um, batter, the beer batter mushrooms and whatnot. But the small pieces that don't make it, <clears throat> that aren't big enough to be sit on their own, I'll usually throw them in here and just have, you know, like small pieces and then we'll use them to mince up. So I'm gonna take two cups of these all right, so you can pack them down if you want to and just, you know, try to get as much in as a cup. So that's one cup. And pack these in here. And then that's two cups. I'll add a little bit more, just be a little more meaty, you know what I'm saying? A little chunkier. So we got two cups of mushrooms and then it's called for one cup of crackers or breadcrumbs. Crackers work best. These are the wasa crackers. You see me use these in uh, other recipes. So I'm just gonna break these up. You can use like oyster crackers, saltines, you know, whatever you have, wherever you are on your journey, it's fine. Just get you some crackers. <clears throat> Excuse me. Toasted bread. You know, whatever. But make sure it's a cup full. So we have a cup of... Uh, Crumbs. Okay. Next, we're going to add our seaweed. So these are the seaweed chips. This is a brand that I uh, find in Walmart that I use. I like their, they have the big ones too. <clears throat> I do have some big ones, but I wasn't sure how fresh they were. And I just bought these. So I figured I'd just go with the fresh, make sure it tastes best. Now, I think the recipe calls for like one fourth of a cup, so I'm gonna eyeball that, okay? I think I'm just gonna go ahead and put this whole little pack in here. I think it's about, how many sheets come in here? I should have counted it, because that was like four, then three, so we'll say seven. About nine or 10 sheets come in that, so you can put the whole pack, and I feel like that's about a fourth cup. <clears throat> My hand's a little sticky, let me rinse that off. All right, so we got our mushrooms, we got our seaweed, and our crackers in there. And now it's time to season it up. Well, let's put our, so uh, four tablespoons of the ranch dressing. So this is the cracked black pepper ranch that I made in a previous recipe. <clears throat> I don't know what's in my throat right now today. I'm not sure, but I'll get over it. So that's one, two, three, and four. Now you can um, use any type of like vegan mayo. You can make another dressing that doesn't have the cracked black pepper like if you make the cracked black pepper ranch dressing but don't put the 
pepper, but this is just gonna make it a little spicy. But not spicy, spicy, like a little kick from the black pepper. So if you don't mind a little pepper with your seafood, which I do like, um, it'll be just fine. So you can use any type of dressing if you wanna tone it down without the kick. Just use like a vegan mayo <clears throat> or make the, follow the recipe for the sunflower dressing, but minus the black pepper, it'll be just fine. So I'm gonna use some Old Bay. Now this is just a cheap, um, cause you can make Old Bay yourself cause it's just uh, celery salt, red pepper, black pepper, paprika. So if you don't have any Old Bay, but you have some red and black pepper, and some celery salt and paprika, which I do. You can make it yourself and throw that in there, but if not, use your obey. Then we're gonna go ahead and put our kelp granules in. And this is some more sea flavor. So I'm gonna be generous with that. I think it's about a tablespoon. And then this is the dulce granules. This is more sea flavor, but you don't wanna put a lot of the uh, dulce. The dulce is a little bit different then the uh, kelp and then good old mustard there is uh the recipe does call for a little more paprika but i'm not going to worry about putting it in there gonna, let me just double up on the obey and call that more paprika okay all right so now we got everything in here now it's time to process it Okay, so we already plugged up, turn it on. I'm just gonna slowly, on the first level. That's really good. Now, um, in the recipe, I think it calls for you to mix it first. Uh, I feel that when you first start this recipe, you can do it that way, mince it first, and then put it in the bowl to add your other things. But this is just fine too, if you wanna just do it fast. Just put it on low speed so it doesn't over process. <laughs> Let's see what it's tasting like. Take a little chunk. Mmm, that tastes really good. I have a little cracker crunch in there too. That's really, really good. Now, me being me, if I wanted to make this a little more chunky, like how like when you buy jumbo crab meat or like lump crab meat, um, you could add more mushrooms to mince up. And I think that's what I'm gonna do just cause I'm gonna make mine meatier. And I don't have really anything to do with the last of this mushroom. So I'm gonna add it. Now I'm deviating from the recipe, so. Relax, it's okay. There we go. So we got a few lumps in there. So that's really good. So let's go ahead and take this mixture out. And then we'll put it into a bowl. And we just use the same bowl that had the mushrooms in it to begin with.
we got it all mixed in here. And we can start mixing our patties, making our patties. Let me get an actual spoon. Okay. I'm just gonna get a regular tablespoon. Okay, so now we got our mixture all nice and minced up. I'm gonna add a little bit more ranch. It doesn't feel as sticky as it normally does. Maybe I didn't put enough. So don't use your tablespoon, use a spoon spoon. But you don't wanna make it too. I'm just gonna add just a little bit. Okay. Just gonna add that in now and get it to stick a little more. There we go. That's all, just a little more of the ranch to get it all sticky. And this is, um, this is better. So this is ready to go. There's so much flavor in here. It's gonna be so good. Let me try it out. Yes, that's delicious. So you see how it's starting to stick? No. Mm -hmm. You can see your seaweed all in there. So we're going to, let me move this out the way. We're going to go ahead and uh, make us some patties. So let's do that next. All right, so we're back. We have, I'm just using the cutting board here. Let me put this here so you can see. There we go. So I'm using the cutting board and I have it lined with a little bit of plastic wrap. Right? So I have freshly washed hands and we're gonna go ahead and start making our Okay, so you just want to grab a amount, maybe like a half cup, fourth cup option, and you want to just start rounding the patties. So they're, they're sticky and they're ball-like already. You just want to go ahead and start, uh oh turn them into patties. Alright, so... We got a nice lumpy patty right there. Just keep scooping out and up. You can make them as big as you want, as small as you want. You can even do, um, make them into like meatballs and do crab cake balls and um, fry them like that or however you want to do it. But I'm just going to make regular patties. But this, uh, this is very versatile. So you can eat these raw. You don't have to fry them or bake them or anything. You can eat these raw on top of a, a salad. So it's up to you how you want to do it once you get the mixture. Because the recipe is, you know, it's very versatile. It's just to really guide you through on how to replace meat in your recipes. Now, if you can, you know, you can make this versatile and go raw and then you're done, you know what I'm saying? Because this would be a really good salad topper. This is not that big, but I'm gonna keep going on. And, uh, and I'm just loving this texture. I'm loving how I added those extra mushrooms. You can see some chunks in here. So good. Okay. it right out for them just like you would your salmon croquette anything like that okay and you could use this like little salmon croquette recipe I just wouldn't um add the seaweed and things I would add but yeah add the seaweed I would just do the kelp without the dulce. That should be fishy enough with that Old Bay. Uh, the salmon croquettes are made of salmon and they are less fishy than like shrimp and crab has that real fishy smell. All right, last one. I 
my hands are messy, but that's how I cook at home. I just, I like to just get right to it. When I have to cook for like meal prep clients and things, it's more, it's a different setting, so I'm not cooking like this. So I'm at home, I just wanna, I just wanna do it like I'm used to. So it's at two, four, six, eight patties. The recipe calls yield six, cause you can make them bigger, but I just made them how I felt like making them and whatnot. So you can make them fatter and bigger if you want to, but you can stretch the recipe and get eight. So let me go wash my hands and then we're gonna get um, our pan ready. I'm just gonna do a quick pan fry for these. So we'll be right back. All right guys, so we're at the stove and it's time to go ahead and fry our crab cakes. So I've coated this the bottom of my skillet real lightly with a little bit of a uh, grapeseed oil. So we're just gonna do a quick fry on both sides just to sear them, get a little browning, and then take them off. Now, you can do uh, like a batter, bread crumbing. Um, you could do like the bread crumb um, technique where you dip it and batter it. It's up to you how you wanna eat them. You can do, you could use the uh, beer batter technique for the other mushroom recipe and totally coat these and then fry them in some more oil, kind of like a uh, like a deep fried crab patty or something like that if you want to use it for like a sandwich if you want to. But this is really good, like I said, you can sear it. I like to do it this way. This is one of my minimal oil recipes. It's a little more fresh. Like I said, you can eat them raw. You can sear them on both sides to their brown and eat them like that. These do work with sandwiches. They work with salads, wraps. I said you can put them in balls. You can also bake these. These can be baked as well. So you have a lot of uh, options with this recipe. It's very, very tasty. Uh, the kids will love it. It goes really well with a lot of things. The first time I did it, I made, uh, what did I make? I made red beans and rice. So I did like a, a Haitian red beans and rice with coconut milk, scotch bonnet, pepper. And then I had the crab cakes with it. So good. So I'm gonna go ahead and just let these cook for a few minutes and then we'll come back and flip them. All right, so we're ready to flip them. It only takes about two to three minutes on each side. So we're just gonna do it till it's a little brown. And they stay together very well. You might get a crumble or two. Very nice and brown. Go ahead and let these cook. Now these are on like a medium high heat. This is on a six out of a 10, just to make sure it's hot, doesn't take long to cook. Just do a quick sear, quick pan fry. And like I said, these can be baked. Um, I would say in the oven on 350, about, I'd say 15 minutes. I've never baked them, but, uh, about 15 minutes should do. You don't want them to, uh, overcook and dry out. So both sides are brown. I'm go ahead and take that out. Um, yeah, about 15 minutes. Make sure the oven's already hot. I would uh, I would spray my uh, pan that I'm going to bake them in to make sure that it doesn't stick. And I'd say about 15 minutes, 350 in the oven should suffice. If you find that it needs a little bit more time, but you're really just trying to make it warm and stiffen it a little bit more, so. That's really it. Uh, so I'm just gonna finish these up. Just at two, three minutes. And then we'll be done. I think I'm gonna eat these after this video. 
I'm gonna um gonna make me a salad, I think so. Um, I'm not in the mood for any bread or making. I would have to make my bread. That's why I don't feel like it. Um, and I need to get some greens in. So this is a great opportunity to get a salad in. I like to eat salads in the afternoon. So I'm gonna make me a salad with these uh, crab cakes. I'm gonna drizzle some of that dressing on top. It's gonna be so good. I should put that picture at the end of this video so you guys can see. I also posted in the group too, so. Let's just finish cooking these real quick. We're not trying to overdo it. We just want them uh, fried together. And that just helps everything. All the flavors come together when you put it on the heat. And if you want them browner, you just want to add some more oil because that's the oil that actually gets it crispy and brown. Um, so that's up to you if you want to do more oil in your pan. Totally up to you. So like I said, these are really good for like crab cake burgers, salad. They can be made into balls for appetizers. It's up to you. So that's our sea vegetable cake recipe, better known as our crab, vegan crab cake replacement. So as you see, you don't have to miss out on seafood flavors you can get that with a simple recipe and that's all so we're done i'm gonna go make my salad i appreciate everyone for watching i'll give you guys a close-up i appreciate everyone for watching this video i really want you guys to try this those recipes i'm telling you this is really good seafood flavor. It's going to help you stop those seafood cravings. You can make this every day if you wanted to. You can make a huge batch of these and just eat through the week and meal prep with these. The possibilities are endless. So you saw how easy that recipe was. You can do this with any mushrooms that you wanted to do. I just prefer the oyster mushrooms because of the texture and it gives that visual aspect like crab meat, the way it chunks up. But you can use this with any white portobello mushroom, anything that you can get your hands on. Oyster mushrooms are more um, ready made available than they used to be when I first went uh, plant-based. I used to have to go to my international markets because that was the only place I could find it. Now your farmer's market, your international market, whole foods, sprouts, you can really just go to Google, put oyster mushroom in, put your zip code, and it'll show you everywhere that it's sold in your area. But there you go. Vegan crab cakes, our sea vegetable cakes with all that good seafood flavor. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and make me something to eat, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Hey, guys. So thank you for watching our... Uh, sea vegetable cake video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. The recipe is so tasty. I can't wait for you guys to try it. If you do try it, make sure that you hashtag on Instagram, tag me at the healthy hustler, put it into the group. Let me know how these recipes are working for you. Let me know how you're making steps, transitioning over to the plant-based diet and just how good everything has been going for you. Um, I love teaching these recipes. I love sharing these creative ideas that I have and helping everyone reach their health goals and getting further and further away from how they used to eat and taking power, their power back and learning how to live a life of fun and freedom and full of flavor. So until next time, remember health is wealth, hustle for it. I'll see you next time.